In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate the concept of cascading style sheets. And from here on out, we'll be getting into the web development, okay, and programming end of things. So I'm going to start off by talking about the cascading style sheets, or also known as CSS. So let me go ahead first navigate to our site that is hosted on our web server. So it's clidascourse.webpages.com. On the previous lessons, we migrated this site, okay? And I demonstrated how to migrate the site, migrate your database, and so on. So right now, this site is hosted at this domain. In order for us to navigate to our dashboard, simply go to WP Admin. This is your WordPress dashboard. And it will direct you to the login page where you can simply provide your login. It's clay123. Enter your password. And this will log you in to the WordPress dashboard. Here you can take a look at your existing pages, for instance. So in this case, we currently have about a single home page and a sample page and maybe an about us page. Okay. So we didn't really do anything at this point to the website except for the fact that we took a look at some of the plugins, some of the basic WordPress integration, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and click on home page and take a look at see what we can edit and how we can edit our home page. So once I'm on my home page edit area, notice there's a slider, this is a short code, and then of course just some basic text that we have. And we also created a simple hyperlink. Now at this point, I can always type more text to the website, for instance, talk about our services, talk about company background, for instance, or any other area. So if you're creating a website for your own self, obviously you'll have your text according to that particular requirement. 